So guys, are you ready? Dreaming is possible. Hello guys and welcome to a brand new series and it's the Vanarama League, National League as well where we are like starting off here with Chesterfield, yes, um, I can't wait to get this series off and running. Thanks to all the people that like, you know, tuned in for the beta series which was Nottingham Forest, that will come back at some point later on down the line but this is the main like, you know, um, series that's going to be on the channel. Now we're starting with Chesterfield, will we end up with Chesterfield? Who knows, like, you know what I mean, it all depends and this is the thing with, with Football Manager, you might not be able to get promoted because of certain like financial restrictions, stadium sizes, things like this. So we're starting with Chesterfield. We're in the Vanarama National League and we're just going to see if we can get them back to like, you know, the heady heights of glory of like, you know, being in like, you know, FA Cup semi-finals and things like that that they've had in the past. The reason that I've chosen Chesterfield is is primarily the the one of the biggest clubs in recent times that actually has fallen out of the proper league, and I wanted to try and get them back to obviously you know better times like you know now um, these are obviously as you can see over here here is the the teams that we're up against the ones that we're going to be challenging now in real life Chesterfield are around about twentieth actually in the so they're not doing very well in real life you know what I mean I think they're around about. 17th, 18th, round, round here, like, you know I mean, this sort of area, like, um, but they're not doing very well at all at the moment. Um, so we've got to, like, try and do um, better with them, like, so um, let's let's um, go. This is, like, there's not going to be any games in today's episode. This is really an introduction to, to, the, to the squad, to the, to, to the team, the, everything like that, like, you know what I mean? Um, so if you are new to the channel and stuff like that, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, but, yeah, there will be games starting tomorrow, like, you know what I mean? That's where they'll be starting. Let's, like, look at the schedule. They'll be starting with Chorley and Stockport in today's in today's in tomorrow's episode and um, but you know i will play all these like off off um camera and we're going to start with our very first kicking off against Chorley um, and then we'll play Stockport in tomorrow's episode but that is for tomorrow, like this is where we are today, um, let's have a look at the actual club itself and um, it's got a really nice stadium, it's Proax Stadium like, you know what I mean, like, and for this like level I mean obviously, you know, it's it's, it's huge like, so we should be, we've got capacity of 10,500, so we should be hopefully, fingers crossed, drawing in the crowds, we can make some money that way like, I mean, because obviously money and stuff is going to be tight, like, you know what I mean, when you're in like a little lower leagues and stuff it always is um but um yeah we like i say like um finances um we'll, we'll, we'll crack onto that straight away where um, we are transfer budget of only f just under 40, 50 grand and you might be thinking what that's nothing like, you know what i mean it's ridiculous at this level it's it's quite a bit like you know what i mean um, to get 50 grand with a wage budget of 28 so we can look at bringing in players um i think better quality than maybe some of the like other clubs that are in um, this division so um that is a good good sign uh, good good sign um to, to begin with anyway right let's have a look um at the, at the side then shall we like the, the actual um the, the players and stuff like that here they are um in the side now these potentials you'd be thinking jesus christ they're like four or five stars they must be like amazing the thing with like football manager is it, it it bases the potential upon like you know the, the the players that you play around and also the like the league structure that you're in. So if I was to take someone, for example, who's like um, this like guy here, Lawrence Maguire, he's got p potential here of four and a half to five stars. I stick him in like Manchester United, Liverpool, Man City, whatever, and he'll be probably half a star. Do you know what I mean? And that's the that's the difference at this level. Um, it bases it upon like you know the teams that you're up against so this isn't looking too bad we've got some pretty decent players like looking at it let's like put it into like you know for, for the current ability we've got this guy oliver newby he's already wanted as well 18 clubs jesus like you know what i mean he's wanted by 18 clubs already um is he how good is he like let's have a look at this guy oliver newby 16 years of age actually he's he's, he's not bad is he really i mean for a 16 year old he's looking pretty decent um yeah, his current ability is four star. He's got the potential to get to five, um, but he's got some decent stats. He's pretty quick. You know what I mean? He's got some pace about him. So he's a bit aggressive. You know, you don't, you don't mind, like, you know, getting in there. Work rate's good as well. And also his passing's good. And, and he's got some other like, nice um, traits in there. What can he play? He plays full back. You know, so he's a right right sort of like, you know, mid, um, defender there. Like um, so, But the fact that 18 clubs are, are chasing him down, um, we might not see him. He might have to, you know, he might, he might go like the board probably will step in and, and, and say like he has to go. Um, 
but it's just finances and stuff like that. So he's he's pretty good. We've got this guy, um, Anthony um, Spiro, who's on loan. Um, we've also got um, Jermaine McClashen as well, who is on loan. Um, so the other second like best player that we've got is this guy, which is the left back. So we've got a right back and a left back that's good. So Dave um, David Buchanan, he's four star as well. Like that means he hasn't got that many clubs like looking for him. So he's down the left hand side. So we've got two decent like you know full backs like you know what I mean um, so that that's 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 good because they can push on and stuff like that I mean he is 33 years of age um, but he has got determination good leadership so maybe I don't know if he's the captain or whatever um, teamwork and stuff let's have a look is he the captain let's find out shall we um, he is yeah down here just well you can just about see Oh, we moved the wrong way. Just about see it. Sorry, I'm blocking like some of these things, but you can't help it, like you know what I mean. But yeah, Dave Buchanan down here. Um, he is um, the actual captain of the club, like you know what I mean. And just poking his head out, just here, just just there. Um, you might recognise him. It's Anthony Gerrard, who's actually Stephen Gerrard's cousin, like you know what I mean. So, um, I'll just actually click on him and and, and show you him in a bit more detail. Uh, but yeah, this is um, this is Stephen Gerrard's cousin, like sort of thing. So, um, not ob obviously as as good as. as as, as Stephen, but I mean he's 33 years of age as well now. So this is this is the problem that we've got. We've got players that are, are coming to the end of their careers and stuff, um, and we're going to have to obviously replace them with with new blood um, and and sort things out that way. Right. And um, what other things do we do we need to to be looking at? Right. I've gone into the tactics. Okay. Now this is how Chesterfield play. In real life, I've checked it out. It's a four-four-two. It's not necessarily the, the the tactics over on this side, you know what I mean? But it is a four-four-two formation. So, as you can see, they've got familiar familiarity with it already. Now, I obviously want to bring in my Gingham, the, the, you know, the, the Gingham press like formation, the asymmetric formation that I had with Nottingham Forest. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Go check the Nottingham Forest series out. <laughs> Bit of a plug. Um, anyway, yeah, this is the formation I'm going to try and get them to eventually like adapt to. And as you can see, it's not too bad. I mean, oh, it's not too bad. It, 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 they've got a little bit of um, familiarity with it already. I don't know you could do that. You could click on there and it shows. So, yeah, I mean, it's showing... Um, some some good you know um, key areas in there that that obviously need working on. As you can see, just if I, no, I think I was going to say I thought if I moved off it, it would like um, it would do that. But yeah, the, where it's um, just at the bottom there, it says position, role, duty, and it's awkward because they're not used to playing that sort of formation. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to ease it in. Do you know what I mean? Because if I if I just put them straight in at that, we're going to end up losing pretty much the the opening games because they're just not used to that formation. Even though preseason, um, yeah, the, 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 there's not enough games to get them used to it. So preseason, I'll use to to get them used to it, and then we'll just integrate it as we go throughout the season, and then eventually we'll be able to leak in and bring it in. Because I'm not really happy with this four four. To, but we'll use that like you know what I mean to, to get things off and running um anyway like but yeah um so like I say there's some decent players at the club and um we, we're just gonna like see how things go like and, and if you want to be part of the actual save you can you, if you want to be a player you'll you will start off in the like the youth academy and stuff like that like for example um I've got some players where are we youth academy there we go sorry about that Went to the development centre. I haven't actually got um, a reserve team squad. There's only um, full team and there's only um, an under 18s. And as you can see, not that many players in this under 18 side. But um, I've got um, Jake Lau um, has come in and he has asked he wanted to be in the game. Um, he is Monterey to Jake. He's got his own YouTube channel, does FIFA content and stuff like that. Like, I mean, so he's in um, as a centre back. Um, he's he's come in now. Obviously, I can't change like certain things. Like, I mean, it's, it's mainly it's just going to be like your name. I'll probably be able to change like you know your height and your weight and stuff like that. But as for um, he's not, he's, he, I think he's from Malaysia as far as I'm aware. I don't apologize if you're not from Malaysia, but uh, for some reason that's where I think you're from. Um, but yeah, it's it's Stockport in England because that just happened to be one of the players that was already in the game, and I just basically just made like Jake um, this player like you know. But he's he's he's, he's not too bad. He's got a um, bit of potential. It, it, you're not going to be like you know necessarily the best player in the game. Like you know, what I mean, you're just going to be. I'm just going to literally put you in. As, as, as one of these like, youth, youth players. So if you want to be in it, you want to see your name and see how you get on, let me know down in the comments, guys, or hit me up on Twitter as well, like sort of thing with like, you know, like your sort of like details and stuff like that. So we're looking at positions I can change. So if you if you want to know which position you want um, and um, 
obviously your name and what else was the height and weight i can i can change as well and um I'm trying to think what else i don't think there's anything else that i can but that'll do like you know i mean i don't want to get too much into into that detail but so like i say we've got jake here we've also got uh, malcolm clark as well he got in touch as well he's got his own like um, youtube channel as well does um like sort of pool simulation and stuff like that like you know i mean does it like um if you're into like you know pool as in like you know like snooker pool type thing not swimming pool um but yeah he does he does like you know stuff and that's so a good check him out as well um so this is malcolm he is a kind Kind of like all-rounded midfielder he can play pretty much like i mean most midfield positions um um as well like you know but central midfield that's what he is um and yeah like i say i can't you know stress enough like how thrilled i am to be doing the series but also so pleased that you guys are, are integrating and you and you're coming on board and stuff like that and you and you want to um help me out like i mean by getting involved in, and that is brilliant and um, there was another person as well which is a good friend of mine um and he's not here where I've, I've put him in the game but he's not unless he's like good enough he's in he's in the first team but i can't see him um hold on uh where is he go to position uh, oh, there he is, Richard White. Yes, uh, Wyatt, I should say, not White. Um, Richard Wyatt is in as well. Um, again, like, I mean, I can't really change, like, you know, he's from Manchester, so it says Doncaster, but you know what I mean? It doesn't, I don't think it really matters that much, to be honest. But he's, he's pretty good as well, like, you know what I mean? I, um, he's 17 years of age. Uh, current abilities, is, is, so he's looking, he's looking decent already. Um, I didn't really even like checkers. I just literally just typed his name in, 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 in here. I didn't look at the stats and stuff. That, but I'm now getting an idea. But he's quick. Um, he's got a good crossing as well. Jesus, like, that's good. Um, but good potential ability and stuff like that. And um, yeah, another right back as well. Um, but he can play. Um, what have we got here down the right side. He can also possibly play as an attacking midfielder but i think we'll probably keep him as, as a right back or whatever but that's good we've got two decent right backs we've got the 16 year old and a 17 year old at right back um but it might be not brilliant because of their age you know what i mean they might not be that good because of experience and stuff like that but yeah anyway that's that's them if you want like i say if you want to be in let me know um and i know i'll be quite happy to, to pop you in like i mean it has to be your real name it's not about this is not shout outs for like youtube channels and stuff like that even though like richard also has also got his youtube channel um set play games he's got that it's not up and running yet it, um he's going to be doing um some football manager content and some old like fifa like you know what i mean like sort of going back to like older 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 like fifas and and doing like series and stuff with those like you know what i mean so um go check him out like you know what i mean at some point but yeah this is not like you know putting yourself in it just to get shout outs and stuff like that if you want to genuinely want to be in it and you genuinely want to like you know keep you know um like want to see how you get on then please let me know guys that'd be awesome um anyway right um where are we at um what else do we need to show you oh um club vision don't we what what is um what is the club wanting from us right they want us to play attacking football i'm totally on board with that like i mean we were doing the same like i mean like i say when we were not in forest so um that's why i want to try and integrate that other like you know system um work within a wage budget we had to do the same at forest so that's fine and um, they want us to reach the playoffs minimum so not too bad really they're not expecting us to get promotion even though i would say that we were probably one of the favorites um in the actual league and um, to get out of it because of the stature of the club and stuff like that but at the same time i think you know the fact that the board are quite happy for us just to reach the playoffs is is not putting too much pressure on myself um fa cup they want us to reach the first round because obviously there are qualifying rounds and stuff so i don't know how many rounds we've got until we we would possibly get that and we might have to play a couple of games first to like try and get that and then the fa trophy they want us to reach the fourth round of that um and then in you know my contract will expire um as well but you know at the end of the season so it's only a one year contract to begin with and they'll discuss that but this is the weird thing look at this what they want to do for <laughs> they're looking to sell the club so <laughs> like i say we might not be with chesterfield um all the way through this series it's literally um 
if a situation comes where we have to move clubs, then we have to move clubs. Like, you know what I mean? I would love it if we can get all the way to the Champions League with Chesterfield. That would be fantastic. But again, it, it's kind of out of my hands. It all depends on whether the, 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 the owners of the club, whoever it be, whether it's going to be the ones that we've got currently and they don't want to progress and they're not able to put any more money into the club, then we ain't getting any... We probably won't even get our league too. Um, so, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this like goes. Like, I mean... It, but hopefully someone does come in and buys us because we'll look at it as being a very good prospect because hopefully we're doing quite well. And that's that's what I'm hoping anyway, like, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, this is, like, like I say, this was just literally um, a look at, of, of, of the club, you know, where we're, where we're at and stuff like that. And um, we're, we're going to, like, obviously progress, move forward. And, um, yeah, like I say, if you want to be in it, let me know and obviously on tomorrow's episode we will hopefully have, have sorted out some transfers I can go through those and also we'll be like um, getting a couple of games in in tomorrow's episode but that's it guys you know what I mean I'm just you know this is literally just was an introduction to the series and um, I hope you're um, all on board for it and can't wait to see where things go like you know what I mean because I'm like I'm stoked for it I can't wait to see like what happens and which players suddenly become amazing and stuff like that but if you've um, enjoyed today's video and and, and, and stuff please slap a like on it please if you are new to the channel thank you very much for stopping by and if you do want to like you know continue looking at like certain videos on the channel then please hit the subscribe button and if you want to make sure that you don't miss anything hit the bell um, as well for the notifications so anyway guys i'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day it's a day from Mongo gaming signing off cheers